Gotta focus on them racks. I got a family for the feed. Hitman taught me the way. Gotta be rich before 19. Don't need you in my circle. If you want attention for the lead. Got blood all on my sleeve. My hurry when I eat. I'm tossing and I'm turning my mind. See him in my sleep. Live at my grandma's house. What's up, Jabo here, and today we have a new video, another young rapper gunned down at the age of only 18 years old. Like I said, it's no more natural causes, it's gun violence in this era. Now, a few days ago, on May 28, 2023, in Tangible Hall, Louisiana, an hour away from Baton Rouge and New Orleans, deputies responded to a call of shots fired at a home on Martha Luther King Drive in Tangible Hall around 1 p.m., and they said that when they got to the scene, they saw a young male shot in the stomach in the yard. And he was identified as Highway Youngin, but his real name is Calvin Felton. And he was taken to a local hospital where he unfortunately died from his injuries. Felton's body was found in the yard up the street. The homeowner's daughter was visiting Monday and was shocked to know what happened in her parents' yard. He was so dear to my family to wear. I don't wish this on nobody. Uh, I'm mad because, you know, at the end of the day, um, a lot of this could be avoided. Can tell Sims was Felton's cousin. He says Felton was an aspiring rapper. All he cared about was his loved ones, his family, and his friends. And he, he did music as a way to try to, you know, help 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 his his foundation and help his family. And he wanted all he wanted to do was be a successful young man. Now, after the death of Highway Youngin, obviously his family was very devastated, and one being his father who uploaded text messages he had with Highway Youngin saying, feeling it this morning, I can't talk to you, rest in peace, son. And also his brother would go on to say, yesterday was not a good day after the death of my brother, pray for myself, my dad, my brother's mom, my siblings, and all of my Louisiana family. They say they could die young, but I cannot understand this Highway Youngin brother you will be truly missed. Now his father uploaded a video about his son and released balloons in the air. Highway Young and R.I.P. Dad and mama love you, you heard me? You was 18 when you left. I got 18 balloons to represent. This for you. I love you, big dog. Now, a few days after Highway Youngin was gunned down, the police were trying to piece everything together. And this is probably the craziest outcome we have ever seen involving a rapper because the murder suspect, 26-year-old Tommy Diamond, he ended up taking his own life. He barricaded himself at his aunt's house. And during a four-hour standoff with police, he decided to do what he did because he did not want to surrender. They were trying to negotiate with him, but it appears that he wasn't going. He did not want to go back to jail. And the craziest thing of all as well is that he was wearing an ankle monitor from a 2020 murder that happened of a young woman, Zion Hutcherson. She was a mom from Baton Rouge. And this guy, Tommy Diamond, was out on bond for $350,000. During that time, he kept uh, basically making comments that he was going to commit suicide by cop. He wanted to die. He was going to take his life. He, he wasn't going to jail. They lost communication, then heard a gunshot. The sheriff's office sent in drones and discovered Diamond's collapsed body from what they believe was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Our whole in, in, intent when we went out there was to peacefully apprehend him and take him into custody where he could go face his, the charges and not get into this type of situation. Now this story gets even crazier. They're saying here that all of this happened over an argument while playing the video game Madden. The game turned into a gambling incident gone bad and that resulted in Howie Young and losing his life. That night, uh, we'd had information that they had been playing uh, Madden for money. It was gambling. It, it, was, it, was, it was, that was part of the motive. Uh, I guess there was a disagreement, there was an argument over some money, and uh, that's what resulted in, in, in the murder of Felton. A closer look at Tommy Diamond, he was one of J.D. Young's co-defendants in the 2020 Roseland Trail riot shooting. And they're saying here that the men fired into the crowd at a birthday party, hitting a number of 100 or more assembled party goers. And 21-year-old Zion Hutcherson from Baton Rouge was killed during this incident. 
and while Jada Young was charged with accessory to second degree murder and obstruction of justice for his role in this incident. The 21 year old from Baton Rouge drove with her sister to attend a trail ride event Saturday night just outside of Roseland. Multiple gunmen started shooting into a large crowd of people on Vernon Town Road. All of a sudden they just pull out freaking AKs. I'm talking about they spraying these up. They spraying these okay. We An eyewitness who recorded this video says she's not sure what caused the shooting. These boys, dudes, whatever they want to be, came out there and decided they wanted to just I guess shoot up the crowd. Several people were injured, but Hutcherson, who was studying to become an x-ray technician and phlebotomist, was the only one killed. Her death leaves her one-year-old daughter without a mother. Man, this is one of the wildest stories we have ever heard involving a rapper. Like, just imagine the murder suspect taking his own life days later after he took your life is insane, but it is very sad how everything unfolded. Anytime there is some type of gambling going on, things are going to escalate because obviously nobody wants to lose any type of money, especially money. We know that money is the most powerful thing ever known to man. Money is the root of all evil. The case that Tommy Diamond is involved in, obviously who knows what is going to happen with that case because we do know that J.D. Young was also a co-defendant in that case. But now that these two individuals are no longer here and also there's other people in that case, who knows how things are going to unfold in that 2020 case of a woman that died. And that is it for this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. Rest in peace to the victims. But yeah, I'm out.